Eli Manning stays on his feet. It is caught by Tyree. Welcome to Catch the Moment Podcast. I am your host, David Tyree. Thank you for joining us another week for another episode. And I'm going to be honest with you, y'all. This is what Catch the Moment was made for. We're going to take you on a nice journey because this is about evolution, the revolution of evolution. So I'm here with my boy, Maul Davis. What's good, family? It's the broski boy boy. The broski boy boy. Yay. Yeah, you know what we doing. <laughs> <laughs> This is a long time coming. Wow. So, bro, it's, it's super, super hard where to start with you, but I'll make it easy because we ask every guest. For sure. All right. You know, and we go, we do go way back and this is going to be, I promise y'all, this is going to be fun. But where were you the first time that you saw the helmet catch and what was your thought story or anything that goes along with it? So the first time I saw the catch was live. Okay, bet. You feel me? Um, and I want to say I was... With my church friends, I think I might have been at my pastor's house. We were, we were, we just were shook. We were <laughs> shook. Like, what's happening right now, That's bro? Cool. Like, and then, so that happened. There was an 18 and 1. 18 yeah, yeah, we crushed, we crushed them the way the Patriots and they had um, dreams. And then my next moment seeing you was on the Ellen show. Oh, and you I actually was, caught that episode. I was about to say it. Yes, my broski boy boy. <laughs> yes, I but saw we, you. But we hadn't even met yet, so that was that. So, so you you, you caught it. Y'all vibed out. Church family, good yeah. vibes. Yeah, oh, for sure. Everybody's wild. Oh, we, Lots of Giants fans in the wild. And they might have been know. some cussing with church people. Of like, course. <laughs> yeah. Michael Barrow went there, and so I know you, I know y'all had some some some. But we were so excited because it's the underdogs. You feel me? Like no doubt. It's you. You didn't expect it. Y'all probably didn't, I don't know what y'all expected, but we was <laughs> yeah. like, this is unreal. And it was so great. It was like, it was so triumphant for so many different reasons, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, and then, and the other thing too is, I was so invested, I wasn't even a sports guy. No, you definitely wasn't. But there's so many other people who were not sports people who became invested just because they, it was like an underdog and then you came yeah. up. And then, specifically for you, because then we heard the story behind it. Like, yeah. just like, the journey of you getting there from... Your story, your personal story to no other people's story that are on the team, man. Like, I mean, phenomenal to be honest, bro. Oh, that's that's love. That's love. Oh, you know, that's that's how we like, like this, you know, kind of lit, lit. You know, we like to level the playing field with a little catch moment. But, bro, this is obviously about the Broski. All right, so everybody knows the Broski. I can say everybody at this point because I'm surprised the Broski hasn't gone viral, Listen. bro. I don't even know. Like I, in my mind, because Broski was something that. I don't know. Did it start with us, bro? Yeah, for sure. Because I feel like because sure. I always used to talk about the ski, yeah. and I was so I don't know if I introduced. You, I can't. You, I, I'm not going to stay because you, you, bro. You, it's cool. I mean, you listen, hashtag, bro, bro. Copyright. Listen, you said something like numski yeah. or something like it was like a bromance early on. Yeah, like yeah, yeah, we're yeah. trying to figure it out. But I. But this is this is Maul Davis. So yeah, you know, for like because sure. yeah, that that was one of my things was the bro. But that. So Broski is a, is a, is definitely you need to copyright for sure yeah, for sure <laughs> if nothing else Broski boy boy, boy boy I got that yeah yeah <laughs> Broski boy boy but um but bro so just to, just to, just to kind of lay out the resume I met you you are an actor mm -hmm. right so we're not even gonna say working actor you're an yeah. actor you're a full fledged entrepreneur one of the best massage stretch therapists in the world has worked with everyone. When I say everyone, everyone from Eli Manning to um, actresses, professionals, SVU. So, you know, in light of kind of, you know, th throwing out the resume, we're going to get into the journey. Bro, so what has been your most precious moment as a professional, bro? You, you, you've you kind of, you know. Man, there's so many different moments. Like you could take, <clears throat> so you just, you named athletes, you named artists and entertainers. I've worked with, you know. I can say a billionaire, like people who are hedge fund owners or people who are owners of cryptocurrency, you know, yeah. um, just the whole thing of like healing, you know, we've kind of evolved from like massage to Alexander technique mm -hmm. uh, to movement recovery. Um, you know, like with anything, you just, you grow. right? Yeah. So one of the things that I, I knew early on, just as far as like calling or purpose is, I'm a connector. I'm a communicator. I'm a builder. Love you it. knew that from the very beginning. 100%. Like, what is this? Something. This is this. This. This dude is different. You could. You could. <laughs> you could blame it on like 
the creative aspect of me, but I think it's also like who my parents are. Yeah. Um, you know, you know, I'm from Detroit, so big shout to the D. Got you know, shout out to the D. It's so, so cold. I've always felt like Detroit and Jersey has a, a, oh, sure. a sick chemistry, like for sure, and likeness. Like y'all got a club vibe in Detroit. You know, come on, yeah. the Jersey club, yeah, and Jersey we got the club, jet. bro. The, yeah, you know so the jet. The, the, the vibes was all it was always there. But go ahead, keep, keep no, no. Keep I mean, it, I think, and that, let me say by far, like we grew up. And you know how, like, you didn't know you didn't have until you left somewhere else? Oh, absolutely. But my dad was in the Army. And mm-hmm. so because of that, we had opportunity. Uh, so I'm not going to be like, I, I was raised yeah. in the projects because I wasn't raised in the projects. Not my story. Yeah, in a, you know. Facts. Um, but I still believe that people who aren't raised in the projects still have things they have to overcome. There's yeah. still a struggle. Like, you're still trying to figure out who you are. Come we on. moved back to Detroit after living in Germany and Kentucky. Yeah. And people were like, yo, why you talk white? I was like, it's a subject and a predicate. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Like, like what uh, y'all talking about? Like, Because I'm educated? Right, right. But that was, that was like my first form of like acting. Like, yeah. you know, in order, not so much in order not to get beat up because I always was a jokester. So I was going to talk about myself before you talked about me. I wasn't the, the tallest Kid, sure. I was in sight since I was five, so you know I've been this side. But Bro. I knew early on how to like you know connect with people or to at least um, have an opportunity just to like laugh. Like yeah. I wanted to laugh, I wanted them to laugh, and the rest is history. Had some great mentors, um, and that kind of like introduced me to the world of like acting, introduced me to the world of like moving recovery from going to acting conservatory. But there's been so many catch. Bro. So many caught moments, you feel me? Uh, all right, so give me one just from the standpoint of, because you work with, like I said, you're probably the only person that has gotten Eli Manning to do a promotion, like <laughs> just out of out of GP, right? Yeah, like, yeah. so I, no one's ever seen Eli Manning without a paycheck do anything. For sure. But, <laughs> and even then, he probably be like, I ain't going to do it. <laughs> so, I mean, like, and just for your own personal reasons for whatever, like, what was the moment where he was like, yo, this is special? Who you know if there was someone that you work with yeah. or even an accomplishment because you're a full fledged like not you don't just do stretch therapy you're a business owner we yeah. gonna get into that so talk to me well it's funny you spoke about Eli I first met Eli at one of your charity events mm-hmm. and that was mm, two thousand. Nine-ish. Yeah, it had to be. It was early on, man. Yeah, it might have been the 2012 season, honestly, because okay, they okay. were on that Super Bowl run. You talk okay. about that crazy yeah, one. Yeah, yeah. yeah so that at Chelsea was, Piers. That was at Chelsea Piers, and we did the bowling event. Big shout, David Tyree Charity Bowl is actually coming back November 14th. Pull up on them. Pull up. Pull, pull up. up. Uh, Children of the City I mean, Big, great Big organization. Shout. I mean, sidebar, <laughs> sidebar. So and yeah, I, no, no, hold on, so sidebar. Hold on, sidebar. I've been doing this. They, they, they used to flex. Him and, and Lee Ali used to flex on me, like. Hey, Molly, you want to pull up? Or they call me Molly D. Molly D? This is before, like, Brother Maul became a thing. You feel yeah. me? Like, you was always Brother Maul. I was always yeah. that guy. But I remember one of the moments, this is a, a stand up moment for us, like, yeah. where I, I understood, like, the caliber of the people that God connected me to. And mm-hmm. with. you were, you had been given a gift because of the Super Bowl, obviously, sure. at this top notch hotel. Yeah, and you, my, I, I was a third wheel back then. <laughs> I still am a third wheel. Just let little. everybody know. Anyway, but you was like, "Yo, pull up." So I pulled up. It's penthouse, no doubt, of a hotel room. Rich Carlton, yeah. Uh, look, overlooking Central Park. <laughs> and DC, you said, "Hey, um, Broski, you wanna you wanna um, go out to eat with us?" And I was like, "Sure." He's like, "Yeah, I'm gonna go to my my friend's hotel." So I'm thinking, like, we're going to go see his friend at a hotel mm-hmm. or a person at a hotel. We get there, and it's one of the owners of the Giants, but I didn't know Mr. Tish, right? Yeah. I didn't know it was him until after everything was happening, because I'm like, Leala, where are we at? Like, why are we here? <laughs> and, and, you know, I come to find out, it's funny, I'm an actor, so I'm hearing, like, some of the top movies that Denzel Washington's been a part of. Yeah. I think he's the only person that has an Oscar and a Super Bowl ring. You're yeah, yeah, Steve Tips mm-hmm. taking Pelham one, two, three, Forrest Gump. He, he, he got mean, some hitters. He got them some hitters. hitters, my boy. Hitters, and that that was an incredible like moment of like like who you're connected to. Sure, and and it was like easy too, right? Yeah. Easy. So what's also crazy too? I think you understood early on, like I, I wasn't. Um, I was a fan of you, but not necessarily a fan of like the sports or like a. Uh, 
a leech. And I, I think I know this now because I think I remember there was a few times really I was like, you coming to the game? I was like, yeah, and I didn't come. And then last time she's like, listen, I got to pay for these tickets. I'm like, yo, they not free? Like, she's like, no, no, you either going to come to this game or you're not going to come to this game. Facts. Um, you guys also encourage, like, hey, you do this this movement stuff, this recovery stuff, this stretch stuff, and it kind of happened on a whim. I think Leala was nursing one of the seven kids. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And she was feeling some type of way. I was like, yo, your scapula, your rhomboid, your latissimus dorsi muscle. <laughs> and I just, like, adjusted, and she's like, oh, snap. Our moment was... Your hamstring, your bicep. Oh, yeah. Was, to, something was bothering you. Liala ended up picking me up in the middle of the night in Jersey City because I didn't have a whip. Like, yeah. come, come, come over to the crib. And she's like, do whatever you did for me on him. <laughs> I think I did like 30 minutes. I know we were praying. And then the next day, he's like, yo, I, I actually felt good. Like, what'd you do? I was <laughs> like, um, I learned this in college, some stupid stuff, but I'm an actor. <laughs> and fast forward to meeting. Eli, but back then I wasn't like an opportunist in that like, oh, let me, no, it wasn't, no. my it was vision real. was, yeah, it wasn't that. It was real. So fast forward to like five or six years ago, I get a text from an Eli Manning, from the Eli Manning. The saying, Eli, no question. Saying, hey, um, broski or Brother Maul, I heard you do great movement recovery. Um, you know, and I, at the time he just said Eli, so I didn't know if it was some like young, some young college kid that I had met. Sure. And I jokingly said, is this Eli Manning or Eli Apple? Ah. And he responds back, Eli Manning. For, for two seconds, my heart just goes, mm. <laughs> So you know me, I'm a, I'm a voice note no guy. Doubt. No so doubt. I sent a voice note like, Broski boy boy, uh, what, who? Um, and then he calls me in old fashioned, like, I'm, I'm too old. I don't, I don't yeah, know how to yeah. do this. But I would like to work with you. Now, Warranted, he had seen me in the facility. Sure. Uh, he knew I was very much so connected to you because at the, at the time you were, you know, director of player um, engagement. Yep, yep, yep. And so there was a familiarity. That's good. And I already had built up a resume. You did. You know what I'm saying? So, like, there was that, you know, there was some credibility there. But those are moments where you're like, like I, didn't even, I didn't even ask for it. It came to me. And those are the sweeter moments versus, like, hey, I remember a few times in the past, you're like, yo, hey, easy. You ain't got to jump in everybody DM. Some, some people just need to just see you. It is. Just see you. And literally, your gift making room for you, bring you before yeah. great people. You don't have to force it. That's been the sweetest, the sweetest blessing in this whole process. I love that, you bro. Know? No, I love, I love the way you share it because obviously, you know, the history goes back because the cool thing about this relationship and, you know, the revolution of evolution, I got to be the name of this episode because... <laughs> I meet you, and at the around that time, I have an injury, coming back. It was after the helmet catch, and God was dealing with me about relationships because I was on IR. I realized I didn't have real relationships. Mm -hmm. I had just left uh, my first church where I had. Yeah. So it wasn't the same church. Like you know, you leave a church, you might lose all the relationships. For sure. And so I was disconnected. I didn't have the locker room. Mm. And I was like, well, how am I alone? How, how, how is God all about relationships? And here I am yeah. saying I love God, but I have none. So when you hit me with that, with that message, it was an opportunity. I felt like the mm. Lord, and it was like, hey, man, you know, it's just something real simple. The funny thing about it, I'll never forget that Facebook picture because you, you look real muscular in that picture. Like, you, you know, I don't know if you was lifting Bro, at the time back in that back college then. pic. I was, I was trying so, to find it. So, but so obviously we, we we start meeting up and we connecting and my heart was just open. It was one of those things. So when, when we hear about DT three is about truth, transparency, and transformation. So mm. transparency, it was about vulnerability, right? For sure. That was the that was the stage at which For we sure. connected and boom, everything we just started flowing. So so talk to me about like you know because it was. Alexander Massage when I met you. Yeah, for sure. So talk to me even before about So you went to Rutgers Conservatory yeah. and you are an actor. Yeah. Um, give me your top three acting experiences and talk about your journey in acting. Wow. Because you do have some 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 bars. Yeah, like man. I, I could throw them out there. But you you know uh, you know what? This is another thing that legitimized like I mean, I, I'm pretty sure as an athlete, especially at at that moment too, like the catch. We saw each other at this event. I saw him speaking at, um, and kind of aided him with the baby girls, the twins at the time, getting yeah, in the car. Yeah, did. But just like off of that, and at the moment, I got his book. I read the book. I was reading the book, read the book, 
And <clears throat> I think somewhere in there, I just like, I fell in love with the story. Then I saw another interview with you somewhere else yeah. on TV. And um, I hit you. See, this is, I was the captain of jumping in the DMs before DMs was a thing. <laughs> yeah. This, this is Facebook. Yeah, because this is Facebook. This is like when Mark Zuckerberg was okay, valid. <laughs> This is like 2008-ish. No doubt. And I jumped in, and I can't remember what it was. Like, I think I'm going to say, like, yo, you were encouraging. Your book is great. Let's connect. Let's build or something like that. Yeah. And then the next moment, I think you said, hey, here's my number. Let's connect. Um, I'm pretty sure somewhere in there, my McDonald's commercial was out. Yeah, it was It was out. Yeah. And that, that was a big, it was like a national commercial, right? Yeah, it was. It was a national commercial. Come on, bro. This Come on, bro. Ski boy, <laughs> boy. So that was that was out, um, and maybe there might have been some few things um, that were were out as well, like mm -hmm. on my social media. And if social media wasn't what it, what, it, what it is now. We nah. used, to, used to like Black Planet back then. Listen, but Ooh. I think that just brought a little bit of like, oh, uh, you know, you like, okay, I see this dude. He's got commercials out or whatever, and um, that was a moment for me because that commercial, man, like. I mean, you know this as an actor. I think when we first connected, I was sharing with your wife, like, yeah, hey, y'all got to pull up. I, I, I booked a gig with Danny Glover off Broadway. Yes. I'm like, hey, y'all got to y'all gotta pull up, man, because I don't know if this is going to last. You feel me? <laughs> y'all like, we going to catch the next one. I'm like, no, y'all got to come now. <laughs> um, and then, like, the, the journey, like, I think you guys also knew me as an actor, but like I shared earlier, like, I've always been very comfortable with like in my own skin, right? Bro, it's been a beautiful thing <laughs> you, to watch. You know, like bro. especially as a as a guy, and I hate to say as a guy, but just as a human, like I'm comfortable with my skin. I will say this: when I learned, it's called Alexander Technique, and mm -hmm. it's really focusing on like building better body posture. So, like you're studying acting, a lot of conservatory programs want you to be comfortable as an artist, right? Comfortable, yeah. you know, standing and posture and all these things. And so that's one of the things I was sharing with your wife because she had to nurse the kids and all this stuff. And then yeah. when I had an opportunity to work with you, it was like the same thing. And then you said, hey, you you on to something. Because I've, I've worked with a lot of people, but there's yeah. something different. I mean, we were on the floor. We were on the coffee tables. Bro, like, had me on the hardwood. Wife, had me on the hardwood, your, dog. Your wife and you like, yo, why are we on this hardwood floor? <laughs> Leal like, we can buy you a massage table. I was like, no, I'm an artist. <laughs> This is what it's all about. <laughs> you won't find me without no massage table somewhere. Bro, like I, I got a massage table somewhere off of Craigslist, anywhere. Fantastic. But but DT, like learning that in Europe and learning the importance of just taking care of yourself, taking care of your body. And everybody's deserving of yeah. just feeling good. Like I love it. I'm all about rest and recovery. Uh -huh. It's mind, body, and spirit. You you know the the sessions that we had. Like yeah, y'all. I hate to say y'all were guinea pigs, but you were guinea pigs. But you also were an encourager. Like hey, I know you're an actor. Y'all oh, remember when people like you? Bro, you, weren't, you I was telling. I, I do remember a couple moments because I'm like, <laughs> you were still a few years for out sure. of college, for hustling sure. for meal swipes for sure. Like bro, meal swipes for 30, sure. Like it was like fifty dollars for an hour, forty five dollars oh, for. You remember that, bro? bro I'm like. I'm like, bro, first of all, your services, even right now, are yeah. at least $80 to $100 an yeah. hour, even what you're doing. Yeah. And I remember like, you know, because of course I want body work as, a, yeah, as an yeah, athlete, yeah. so it was good. I'm like, this is really good stuff, but you really should get that get that uh, that deep tissue. And you was, like I said, you was just in your lane. You was flowing. Bro. Was, Alexander, it, it was fantastic, but it, but you, you did it. You But that's the evolution, though. You said it, too, like evolving. That's one thing that you were saying, hey. This is something good. However, there's a different audience that's going to appreciate this, but you got to come with them with this as well. They know. And it's the same thing as an actor. I'm like, that's what we learned in acting. Like, hey, being open to the moment. Like, here's a script, but learning how to improvise within the text. Uh, and it's the same thing in our, like, our faith ooh, walk. Oh, baby, come on. It's now. the same thing in your faith walk, right? Like, here's, here's this, this blueprint, yeah. all right? But how life be life in, you're going to have bro. to, like... Yeah, you got to you know, find that word that that word that's going to settle that word that exactly. season the grace. You know, it's like this is the right thing, but what's the right approach? And and and, and that's kind of how it evolved because people was like, so who's Alexander? Like, <laughs> and I was like, F M Alexander was so might man. It's like this is during slavery, bro. We we not with it. Like, can it just be what you're doing? And then, it, <laughs> like, I mean, be honest, y'all was like, yo, what is Alexander? Like, who is he? <laughs> And you got people like Googling, like, who is he? I'm like, it, it don't even matter. But what what I what I appreciated about our acting conservatories at 
a part of your degree, you got certified. A part of your degree, you got licensed. Like, we also had to do student teaching. That was another thing that we were armed with. Yeah. I was actually very apprehensive and hesitant back then. I was still fresh out of Detroit. Like, what are we doing? What, why are we learning this? Yeah. I just want to act. And <laughs> my, my professor took a liking to me because she just said, like, you know, your talent, but you have a gift. And when we're actually doing this movement recovery or Alexander technique, you you do it pretty well. Yeah. And then once I, I don't know so much it was confidence. It was like giving myself permission to be like, it's okay to do several different things well. And yeah. I wasn't just built for one thing. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? Like, I think I understood that. I think y'all met me on the cusp of like, I'm a sold out actor to like, there's other things I can do. Y'all met me when I was working at the Hyatt, Bro. overnight shifts. Yes. You know, because I was never going to be broke. See, talk about this. All right, so you got to help. You got to help. I, I'm a hustler, baby. I think we are in that stage where people recognize the different opportunities. But I think when you really started acting, it was like people that were so dedicated in the working actor dynamic. For of, sure. But, you know, you were working summers at the Boys and Girls Club. Yeah. You were, you know, teaching a theater class. yeah. yeah. I never knew you not working, and that's why I had so much respect for you. Mm. And I'm like, man, this dude is this dude is just fantastic. That's that Detroit hustle, man. You know what we doing out here. <laughs> yeah. But I think again, what you don't work, you don't eat. Bet. That's the truth, <laughs> right? Like you don't work, you don't eat. Like that's just the bottom line. But I also knew too that like real wealth is creating opportunities for other people to become wealthy. And I'm talking about wealthy and like the mm. things that like love and joy and peace and patience you know what i'm saying like yeah. it's not about um storing it all up for me but it's gonna help my family it's gonna help uh whomever your friends your family whoever you're connected to and i i recognize that early on i think y'all appreciated that about me like there yeah. would be times you'd be like yo you need something <laughs> let me tell you what ma was what the the first person that i had that was down for my, like that was down for me like literally, you are the first person that I had in my life. Um, I'm I'm down in Baltimore with the Ravens, and this was the this was the you know the wilderness season of, of, our, of my you life. You was in the right? desert, my boy. I was I was out there. I pulled my hamstring. I'm like, and surely, the the person escorted my wife to to, to Maryland is Maul Dave. Oh no! In the middle of the night, we not middle playing. of the night. We out here in the streets. <laughs> Got to find one of them. <laughs> <laughs> rare she's rare as gold you so, know another thing to shout out early on in the beginning of our brotherhood our friendship your wife i won't ever forget in the kitchen says to me something to the point like basically why are you here like it was one of those moments like why are you here why are you connected? Because remember, we met each other. Yeah, no doubt. And I'm pretty sure you said to your wife, like, yeah, there's this guy that just randomly. <laughs> and then it went from me, you know, coming over. And you, I mean, you had of young course. kids. So you just want to know, like, who in my house? Bet. Who that's, the hell is in here? That's a real thing. You know. Who the hell? <laughs> <laughs> Y'all like, um, Bro, excuse me. Who are you? Where are you from? Who, Wait. who you with? Where are you from? Because I'm that. And you, yeah, so you got, you know, you met the, you met Mama Bear. She came. Oh, she, came she was Mama fresh. Fresh, fresh. Yeah, fresh. But she's she's also like the mama bear and the person that's an incredible listener that's gonna impart something into you. Facts. And she and little did I know that you had been wounded. I didn't know your story. I, I yeah. didn't even ask for it. I didn't even well, you know. know like, like, my story is either overlooked, undervalued, or unappreciated, meaning like being worthy of more, mm. but not necessarily receiving what I'm given. And that's that's common to some degree in other people's experience, but she's mine. You know, so she's like, I'm tired of y'all not seeing the treasure. I'm tired of y'all not seeing the treasure of of this man. So um, so yeah, so it's like she was she was definitely she she was on one. She (laughs) she basically said, like, yo, why are you here? Like, this is like we we not here to play. Like, if you're gonna be his friend, be his friend. You're gonna be here. I I need to Don't be a taker. Yeah. Don't be a leech. And I remember like this is after us like having like a fun time in the kitchen. Hey, listen, she never told me. So I, yeah, it was like one of those moments, and she kind of like stabbed you real quick, and then she walked away like, "I'll see you later for dinner." I'm like, "Am I still invited? Like, what, what just happened?" But like, she was that person, and she also was like, "Hey, you ride or die? What you doing? You got any auditions? Can you ride with me? Uh, we need to help David out. You need to do that. You need to do that uh, Alexander technique thing." And I remember us being in that hotel. 
Yeah. Owings Mills. Owings Mills. Owings Mills matters. Big shout out to the Ravens. They, you know, they gave me my swan song season. They let me finish my career. Come on, man. Seven seasons, you know, number of completion. Come you know, on. So, um, but it was definitely a, se- a season that God was dragging to me and gutting me like a fish. Ultimately bringing me to himself. But you know, when I think about it, that's also a discovery of like you also evolving and learning, hey, what else am I built for? Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. you you were learning. I think God connected us for a reason. Like, yo, this yeah, dude absolutely. is a, I wouldn't say a jack of all trades, because I, I would just say like, because you got to be careful, because you'll be a master of none, right? <clears throat> Come on, that well, that's that we we share we share <laughs> self awareness, <laughs> right? right. I, I could do a lot of things, right? And and I think that's what you've appreciated about me. You oh, learned for sure. about me. You know, but um, I mean, and y'all, and y'all, when I say y'all trusted me so tough too, like not just with your family, <laughs> but I'm talking about with your whole house, your vehicles. Like Every I day. didn't have a whip, and y'all was like, "Oh, just take it." Like just take I didn't. I, that escalator hit in the parking lot. <laughs> <laughs> I did tell you that, right? You did. Tell All right, I was like, you I was told like, us. You did, you He's did. like, "Oh, it's nothing." I was like, "Oh, okay, snap." No, trust me. If, if you told me that today, it'd be different. I'd be like, oh, it's a different time. I'd be like, nah, hit mom. <laughs> it's a different ain't, time. The checks ain't hitting the same. The checks ain't checking. <laughs> but but I know one thing too. Once you saw like my my evolution, my bro, it's beautiful. You were like, oh, he get, he carrying some bread. Like I I wasn't a big spender. No, nah. you know what I'm saying. I wasn't like trying to fit in with the Joneses or fit out. I was all always always me, but in the same way, bro. Like. I'm not gonna be broke, busted, and disgusted. We just not doing that. I love you it. You got a, a beating heart. <laughs> that Detroit, that Detroit grind. It's so cold in the D. You know what it is. <laughs> All right, so um, let's pivot. So you talked about you know the work with Danny Glover. Mm-hmm. You've been on Law and Order as yeah, sure. You've appeared, and um, you know my favorite joint, and, and it, maybe it never materialized when when you had the, had a little sure. kung fu moment. But for sure, but we gotta you know bring them to the service. Maybe include them in the in the in the, uh, in the edit, but. So talk to me how how you know like when you you talk about this the evolution of Alexander to, to massage stretch therapy, mm-hmm. um, and you you already talk about your ability to connect. You know the coolest thing that I can say about Maul Davis, I can vouch for you without a shadow of a doubt. But I was always a bridge. I wanted to be. You got it yourself. So I would tell. Yeah. I was like, so if anybody asked him, like he's one he's one of the best people in the world mm-hmm. at what he does. But I didn't go into the Giants facility and for be sure. like. Yo, stand on the table like Maul Davis. For sure, you need to for bring sure. Maul Davis. So, talk to me. Like, when did your when did when did things turn for you in relation to like, nah, I'm really good at this, mm-hmm. and really beginning to share more and see the, the 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 bubble over effect of it. You know, actually, that's one thing that if in your relationships people aren't careful with, that will be the reason why people lose relationships because they're looking for people to be what you should be for yourself, and that's your own advocate. Mm-hmm. I need to cheerlead for me. Come on, bro. And to be honest, your experience won't be everybody else's experience with me. Yeah. Right? <clears throat> well, two things. Believe it or not, it's probably more of you protecting me than it is for, hey, let me get him another person giving $500. Yeah. Because everybody's not for you. I recognize that early on. Like, you're not for everybody and everybody's not for you. You may desire to be loved by everybody. But Come everybody on, don't want to be touched. Everybody Ooh, don't want that stretching. Talk like, about it. Is, and, and that's okay. That's the thing that I had to discover, the thing that I'm constantly learning. Like, Because God is still trying to um, preserve you for you. Like, yeah. Love your neighbor as you love yourself. Sure. You're doing a lot of love for other people, but you genuinely don't love yourself so much so that you're looking for validation and confirmation to other people. I should have took the bone when you first said it. When mm-hmm. you, that first time, be like, oh, I need to put the people on. But I wasn't, <laughs> I wasn't on that. I was like, I'm an actor. <laughs> I didn't know I was going to be getting rejected for 10 more years before I booked Law and Order. <laughs> Dick Wolf, what's wrong with you, man? Yo. I'm sorry. Every now and again, I just, you can always tell a non-working actor. They're ready to do some performance. I know. <laughs> <laughs> but, but DT, like, you put me in position to connect and build. Like, you... Du- bro, you I was sitting next to Gwyneth Paltrow and Hugh Jackman. <laughs> and why children, and, and, children in the city. And, and you were intentional about, hey, you sit right here. And then your whole thing was like, connect. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> bro, that's, that's so funny. That's, that's great. Wolverine, my boy. <laughs> I forgot. Listen. As, if, if I could turn back the hands in time. If I, if I could take, turn back there. I didn't want, I didn't want to sing them, but you feel me? That was all good. I but, feel you. Bro, but 
in that moment, like you trusted me not to be like, yo, you you doing some weird stuff. Like, hey, hey, I'm an actor. You ready? <laughs> I, you know, like, could you imagine? Or or, or at your your parties, you know, seeing athletes and being like, hey, let me crack your back. <laughs> like that. That's stupid. What you doing? What you doing? What you doing? Oh but, my but god. For me, broski, it was like the the evolution of me building my own confidence, right? Excellent. To vouch for myself. And then the spirit of discernment, like, mm, maybe now is not the moment. Yeah. Right? So essentially, Eli met me a few times. Sure. He's seen me from afar, but it took him about a three, four, or five years yeah. to reach out. And how did he get my number? He got the number from a person who said I couldn't be in the facility anymore. Mm, boom, boom, boom. And it wasn't because of anything I did, it was because they were losing and they yeah. wanted to... <laughs> Red... You, you know, anything. like, you know. Yeah, yeah. But, but it was also my posture. Because I remember that day, I hit you up like, hey, where you at, bro? Yeah. He was like, broski, just... You good, it's not you, just... Yeah. I was like, he said, just go ahead. You ain't got to be Detroit. Just step <laughs> out. Because also, too, I also knew relationship. And when, and when and if somebody did say, hey, I connected with... Brother Maul, like, sure. you're like, oh, cool. And if there was any type of, like, apprehension or anything, hey, bro, my experience, I can speak to his character. I can vouch to him. You know what I mean? Like, 100%. I think about Coach Thomas McGahoo, who's, like, an T -Mac. awesome guy, T-Mac, right? T-Mac. Who Best won, special teams coach in I mean, the listen. Listen, don't get me started, man. This And this incredible testimony, just a great guy. I met him in passing years before. Then he saw me, but the validation or the confirmation of, like, our relationship was solidified through you. Mm -hmm. And he just is another guy like, hey, let me get a session with you. You know, like, I, I need to get a session with you. My, my son needs to see you. Like, those oh, type God. of things. But it happened because I, I made space for myself. One day you're like, yo, we, you here? Yeah, bro, I'm here. I'm here I, at your job. I'm at your job. That's what I love. That's what I love. And, you know, like, you always had an, enough confidence Relational and situational awareness. <laughs> situational, I'm going to tell you sure. what, people are bombing, okay? Yeah, yeah, for sure. <laughs> in the awareness space. But I really love what you said because this helps people wherever they're at in their business, meaning like recognizing what's for, sure. for you, right? It's like every client isn't your client. Every relationship isn't, isn't appointed for, for a sure. close relationship. Maybe it's a distant relationship, right? It I didn't mean, know that, man. Yeah. Why you ain't tell me that, bro? I was trying to tell. You tried to tell me. I tried, just a little bit. Yeah. But you know, <laughs> so... And I think that because you're so strong and adept and you've grown in that space is, is really, you know, I think you have a lot of value. So help me understand. Like, so talk to me about, you know, some of like, because there's been schisms, right? Big learning lessons would have been some of your big like, damn, I screwed that up moment, mm -hmm. whether it was a sacred relationship or whether it was a business relationship, a boundary that was overstepped because we have it. For sure. And that's how we get better. So, you know, find, you know, uh, dig, was, dig in the crates. I would say this, just because it's good don't mean it's God. Okay. It can be good to do, um, and it can be good for somebody else to do, but not for you, right? Everything that's good is, is not gold. Mm -hmm. um, that's, that's as an actor. I've learned that. True. Right? There's, and I, it's not so much like people want you to sell the, your soul. It's just like um, <clears throat> where and how is this going to grow me? Um, how am I going to... Um, benefit myself and others from this sure. or is this just a a, a a me thing is this all about me right mm -hmm. um there's been moments where i i knew something said hey i know what that something is like don't connect because that that person is um they, they may be suffering from some mental issues or some mental health issues or they may be high sure. so it's probably not wise to do no moving recovery with them right now or yeah. or even little things too big bro like i think there's pockets in my life, even as an actor or doing movement recovery or teaching doctors and nurses where I've gotten in my own way. That was one of the notes I used to always get in acting like you get in your own way. You get, you go before yourself. You're okay. trying to like, um, let, let's say let, this is a prime example. Let's say I'm, I have an audition. I'm, I'm there and they're like, Hey, we like you. And then I'm constantly hitting my agent up or I'm constantly hitting the casting and emailing them. It's like, bro, easy. Like you've easy. done too much. Or you already in the locker room. They see you. This is fantastic. There they you go. They see you. I think this is one thing you did share before of like what type of people are. Like the personalities are different. So you, you got to know like I can't necessarily be like, 
Hey, I'm Broski Boy Boy with Eli Manning. Like, it's just, you got to see him and you got to keep people yeah. interested. Like, hey, what's up, man? Hey, what's up? Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, getting in your own way. Like, that's been a thing that you are constantly learning. Like, how am I getting in my way? Sure. We try to blame the enemy. We try to blame, <laughs> you try to blame the devil. You yeah. try to blame the haters. Sure. You try to blame your ex-girlfriend. You try to blame all these things. It's you. Standing yeah. in the need of prayer, standing, <laughs> standing, in, standing in the need of a, your own adjustment, like that's been a thing. Get an then, adjustment, bro, attitude, situation. Adjust yourself. It's your tone. It's your tone. <laughs> that's good. Yeah, because I mean, like th these are the moments where we actually learn the most, right? Like you know, it's like that, when we finally come to the conclusion. Hopefully, it doesn't take too, 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 too long, right? <laughs> Hopefully, there wasn't too many people for sure. yeah, or for relationships sure, yeah. lost in the middle of this learning process. But it's actually coming to terms, like, oh man. I, I missed that opportunity. Yeah. I could have presented myself Dif yeah, differently. Yeah, for sure. For sure. And, and so that, that's... And you, another thing too, DT, is you can't be everything for everybody. You can't, you can't do right. everything with everybody. Like, our relationship, our dynamic is different. Sure. So, or your wife's relationship. I, I can approach y'all differently. I can do movement recovery in a different way, mm -hmm. right? You know, we started on the floor. So it may be nothing for you to say, hey, Started you know what, I can be in compressions versus somebody else. It's like, I need to be fully clothed. It's the same thing in like, ah, it's, good. it's the same thing. In two, and to be honest, it's a, it's a measure, especially in the world we are now, like, I need to protect myself. I yes. need to protect others. I mean, y'all see all these allegations out here. Hey, bro. My God. So now, <laughs> there's another reason, too, that I think wives have appreciated me or baby mamas or girlfriends or mm -hmm. whoever they are. You know, like, hey, oh. we, we want him to work here because we trying to avoid allegations. But even still... I've been, I can't even tell you something to be that called me. They try to call me late in the game. Mm. And I can't be your scapegoat right mm. now. You should have got me two and three years later. Yeah. And, that's, and sometimes for me, bro, I'm like, oh, this would have been great. Yeah. You know, like, there's some of the things I've auditioned for that God was blocking on purpose. Because I would have been out here in these streets. Come on, bro. With my hoochie daddy shorts on or something <laughs> like In LA, like, what are we doing? <laughs> Where you at, bro? All right, so let's talk a little bit about, like, you know, uh, adversity, meaning, like, and, and, you, and actors are constantly facing rejection. Yeah. So that is something that, you know, I don't know if you really ever get used to rejection, but yeah. it's something that you're familiar with and trained by. Yeah. So, and it doesn't have to be that, but what has been the biggest, you know, threshing floor, for lack of better terms, the biggest season of adversity that really brought forth, you know, some fruit, whether it was in your business, your life, or just the evolution more. Well, I love you. You said like this adversity and even rejection. I think if we uh, place rejection in this, or we put it in a compartment of like negative, mm -hmm. then you'll always see a no as a negative. When truly, mm -hmm. the, when truly the no is an opportunity for a yes mm. in a different space, place in your life, right? <clears throat> This is the fruit Ow. of the spirit called patience. <laughs> My God. Right? I, I mean. This is so good, bro. And, and, and big bro, it's not even like just for your career, right? Sure. Hey, man, God showed me early on, you've been built for so much more than just acting. Mm -hmm. In addition to acting, even moving recovery. But that still is not your purpose. Come on, man. And then having an opportunity Bro, I teach doctors and nurses patient communication. Talk about well, it. This well, you is have my an favorite opportunity, part of what you do. You have an opportunity to act like a patient for doctors so that they become more socially and culturally competent. Man. For people who look like me. Like, who, who knew, like, that's been the bag. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying, bro? That's been it. Right that, there. Like, but that's also been a quiet bag. Yeah. Because... But isn't that what we're looking for for the most part? I mean, it is, but right now we're looking at... Everybody, what, like, what, everybody right, loves I want to be an actor. I, yeah, I, I want to do moving recovery, but I mean, that work bleeds into all the work. I'm doing... I went to school for acting. My professor talks about, hey, they need people to act like medical, you know, you know, patients or standardized patients for medical students. I get a gig doing that. And then... I meet y'all. Then your wife feels some type of way and I start doing some moving recovery. Then I start working with these women basketball players with Coach CVS and oh, all this, all this stuff literally made room for me, but also through some no's, yes. some rejection. I told y'all, you know, I auditioned for Law & Order literally 12 years in front of the same person, bro. 12 years. His no wasn't, no, you're not talented. No, you whack. No, you, 
He literally was like, oh, you finally old enough. <laughs> I'm like, old enough? Like, you finally look old enough for, for how we want to use you. Yeah, yeah. For how you should be used. And the episode was fire. Thank God. Like, you know what I mean? Like Straight fire. Th those rejections. Was that, was that the episode with your, with your boy, Rotimi? Rotimi. Uh, we had some legends there. Amanda Warren, who's now on East uh, New York. Crazy. Cop show. And I mean... And you build so many different relationships off of that. Like yeah. I said to y'all, that one of the days I was shooting, the cameraman's back goes out on him. Mm. Like, if that's not a sign from God, like, <laughs> his back go out, and that's why it pays to be kind to people. The yes. makeup artist comes in Listen and says, up, people. This is it right be here. Be kind. Be gentle. Come on, just man. Be, just, just, hey, take it easy. Build bridges. Don't burn them. Yeah, drop your shoulders. Drop it. Come on. Unclench your jaw. Relax your glutes. Breathe. The guy comes in and says, hey, Cameron's back when I, I saw you work with somebody on your Instagram. Go over there. Did a small... I didn't even... I wasn't even trying to do anything. I was like, God, what did you just do? His back just released. And then the next thing you know, they're like, oh, thanks, because we didn't have to cancel shooting. You know what I mean? Mm. And usually the That's head camera... That's the union camera, gigs. Don't trip. Listen, the, 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 the head camera guy is usually like the director. He's like a director. Mm. And so if he's out, then we don't shoot and we got a, more money. You know what oh, I'm saying? Oh, no question. And that's a locomotive. That, that Ooh, Law and Order SVU. Baby. And so then they, they gave me an opportunity. <laughs> they gave me an opportunity to do chair massages after I finished shooting. Like, and they gave me that bag. Come on, pay him. So pay the, him. So, so the nose, the nose add up. Rejection adds up, but where, where am I putting that rejection at? Like, sometimes he's just protecting you from you. Like, even now, like, even in some business things, like, hey, it's okay. Or, or, or there's been, you know, I've learned this too. You know, you hit people up on their DM and be like, I'm good. And then all of a sudden you work with one of their teammates and be like, hey, can I, can I get some work? <laughs> yes, but that price went up. <clears throat> Should have got me when the... Should have got me when you got two for 50. Go on, bro. <laughs> now it's a thousand. They looking like, wait. Yeah, man. God yep. bless. Be encouraged. <laughs> but, but there's value in the weight. There's, you know, yes. I'm still learning that. There's value in the weight. Who knows? Wife. Um, <clears throat> it's a broski boy, boy. <laughs> so, yes, the, the broski can sing. He can act. He's a full-fledged yeah. entrepreneur. So, of all, of all the the talents and the gifts that you've accrued and validated because there's a lot of people who haven't validated, even myself. I'm just moving into the season of business entrepreneurship and actually bringing vision to life, right? We hear Catch the Moment podcast. So, but what is your favorite thing to do and why? Favorite thing to do, aside from traveling, um, is, uh, and this is this, this acting book for, for sure, acting but being in a place and you've been there to teach it okay uh you know I've, I've been blessed to be a part of this organization over the years called boys club of new york uh and big shout, <clears> shout, shout out, out for the for the boys 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 club of new york boys club of new york dt pulled up a few times and 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 shared um just insight and it's really beyond acting but this thing of like being able to teach so teach acting but also teach doctors and nurses patient communication which yeah. has been and, then, and it's all centered around acting too, right? But it's been an incredible opportunity because you actually see and feel the impact. When you got young people who yeah. grew up, how they grew up, and they hitting you up on a gram, or you see them like, yo, you, you like one of my students graduated from Princeton. I was Ooh. like, can I borrow some money? He worked for Amazon on, in bro. Seattle. Like, bro, me if you want like, like he's a bro. big, big IT <laughs> guy. Like, bro, this, this is incredible. Or... To have your mentor who's, he was the only uh, doctor and the only black person to be a dean of two medical schools in the nation. Mm. During the height of the pandemic, right? For him to- We got to get Dr. Johnson on. We got to get Dean That's Johnson true. out Dean here. Johnson he's special. Dr. Johnson, like, I mean, he's, and he's been around since the AIDS epidemic. Like, mm. been around. His wife was like this incredible, like, teacher in, sure. in the oranges, for many, many years, like to have a person like him see something in you and says, hey, it's not what you do, but it's how you do. It's going to be beneficial for these these residents, for these doctors, for these medical students sure. and how they treat us and treat your kids. Mm. Right? Like and we know that there's so many disparities in 
like us and our health and our families, right? Yeah. That that um, gift of teaching has been a blessing, and I'm able to do that um, in areas where I just you couldn't have told me this, and that I was going to be paid to do it as well. Like that, it's beautiful. That's icing on the cake. Yeah, live y'all here living this dream. So that's how it is. That's how I was playing football. It was crazy. It's like. <laughs> check. First of all, first of all, I re- first of all, I used to be at y'all crib and see checks on the floor in the car. <laughs> Chill out, bro. Nah, it was those was direct deposited. Those I was don't care. Shit. But I'm like, I know they got these kids few. around. I was like, they better be glad I'm not a thief. I thought about it, saying, "Listen, I said, bro, what? just just random checks. They were so transparent. They be like." I remember that one time y'all got that tax return. Y'all thought it was gonna be low. Yeah, it was in that kitchen. It was, and he was like, "Look, that's you gotta yeah, pay your like, tithes. You gotta pay your tithes so you can get that government get listen, your money back." Listen, <laughs> hey, or get you a nonprofit. Come on, man, you gotta what was give. It, what was your uh, which one? <laughs> you had a few of them. What the, what was the, the return check? No, no, the um, y'all nonprofit y'all used to have. Oh, we used to have next in line back in next. The day. Back at next. Yeah, better get next in line. Stop playing with me. <laughs> oh, you know, it's funny because I think we're in the process of trying to figure out if we're, we're LLC, but. Um, man, these taxes, Jesus. Yeah, bro. Jersey, and then they welcome <laughs> these penalties. Um, <laughs> that's when you start paying quarterly. <laughs> Pay quarterly, the boy. Business, that business owner life, you got to jump on the taxes. Bro. I know y'all know. Isn't trust me, I know. I know as a W two at, but you know the only place <laughs> where having seven kids helps out a lot is taxes. Come on, my boy. I, I need him. I need him and all the thine write offs. <laughs> <laughs> well, and, and you know the great thing about being an actor that's why you have to give a, get a good lawyer get a good tax agent there you don't go. be lying about your stuff now business owners listen up right here you know so a lot of the things that I do are centered around acting right like you can write off so many different things but learning the business of that we had a class in the conservatory called business for the actor um, which believe it or not we, we might be doing something like that my sister and I may be teaching at Rutgers Conservatory again I love it. but from a from like a live acting experience. Like, hey, you've been built for more than an actor. Yeah. Right? So what else will you do? What else can you do? What other gifts or talents do you have like that you can capitalize on? So right? Good. Because the truth of the matter is, and you see it now, you have Denzel Washington who's directing. You have Viola sure. Davis who's producing. You have, she's got her own production company. Like, they not new to this. They true to this. Like, they understand like, Absolutely. there's a reason why Denzel's in that position so he can create other opportunities Tunis. for other you know, other people to do well. Like, people have been doing this for years. Yeah, yeah it's, it's, fi- it's beautiful to actually finally see, I think, more people are now growing sure. to understand that they can create opportunities. They can oh, create sure. their own production companies. In the last, I think social media has changed the world in that way, right? Well, for sure. Personal branding. I mean, listen, man, you know, I, I just happened to miss the boat as far as God's timing, but, you know, <laughs> Thank God for the opportunity to go viral. Well, we, we're, right, <laughs> right, and we're here, and you have we something that's gonna, you know, it's that's gonna live past you. Yeah, right. When you talk about legacy and Truth. legendarity, you know, I'm this still. I still, I'm not gonna ever get tired. Y'all can get tired of me putting my law and order clip, but I don't care what nobody says. <laughs> Come on, bro. You know why? Nah, keep it coming. You know why? Keep it coming. Because they keep paying me. <laughs> hey, how about they're gonna keep playing? If, they, if they're gonna keep paying and playing, if you paying, I'm playing. <laughs> Like, bro, like, you know, you got some some nice, I call them some nice saints, but they're really haters. Yeah. They be like, yeah. Like, they be hating. Is this a new episode? Is this old? It's new to me because it's new today and I got a new check. Like, <laughs> and, and then even still, like, it's so encouraging for me to see because you need to be reminded of, like, where God put you. Like, he did that. Like, yeah. This. Yeah. The catch, like, don't let it be lost in you. Do you think people move on too fast? Like, meaning, like, we have to move forward, right? We're pressing toward the mark, mark of, the, of our career, of our life, right? Um, is that something? I think that's yeah, but, something. Yeah, but I also think that's a trap. Okay. Because you can't appreciate, like, where you are. That's still a part of my present. Like, that's like you saying, I'm going to move good. on from my marriage because it was good back then. Like, yeah. it's it's still sweet moments when you think of, like, oh, man, man, this that was a great time of my it's life. Fantastic. Like, And how many other people, like, you got to remember, like, Everybody and their mom saw the catch. Yeah, yeah. Like, is it lost on you that Obama saw the catch? That Trump saw the catch? Like, <laughs> everybody and their mom, like, they, like 
there's people in their lives that that catch meant something for them. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, it's, it's dope. you know, I didn't know the power of sports. Like, wait, what? Like, <laughs> the impact. I'm just getting so excited and seeing people like, man, I needed this. I mean, this just happened recently where one of my friends from church, she um, she was diagnosed with cancer twice. Mm-hmm. She's a survivor twice. Yeah. Her husband, the sweet, I mean, when I say the sweetest people ever, yeah. and she hit me up on the gram. She got my number, but hit me up on the gram. I was like, hey, you know anybody at the Eagles? I was like, at the Eagles? She said, because they do that, like, um, uh, this thing, Crucial Catch. Oh, yeah. Well, it's, it's a league-wide okay. initiative, but right. she might be close to Philly. So her husband's an Eagles fan, so that's why she's okay. like, I was like, all right. So I sent the text to one of the players, and then I sent a text to somebody in the NFL, and I'm just like, Whatever. Nobody responded. Mm-hmm. But like, I also know too that some people don't respond because they're doing something. Sure. Next thing you know, Ooh, she says... That's a whole conversation right, right, right because there. Because that's that thing about... So we think it's offended. rejection. We think it's rejection. It's actually elevation. And he's, he's doing something on your behalf. Just be quiet. You don't need to send another follow-up text. Do you know this, do you know this woman? Last weekend, her, her and her husband called me like, Brother Ma, what did you just do? I said, what you mean? What had happened was... <laughs> Secret Services called us. They did a background check on us. We're going to be going to the Eagles game with the First Lady. Dr. Jill, Dr. Jill Biden? Then my friend hits me up like, uh, it's good. I was like, yeah, um, thanks. <laughs> so thanks. she's sitting there walking with, she didn't read the President's First Lady didn't retweet it, all these things. And then I said to her, I said, um, when you thought you were by yourself yeah. in this trial and tribulation. She had di- was diagnosed during the height of the pandemic. Sure. Got to the wedding. We went to the wedding, celebrated. Cancer-free. Mm. A few months later, yeah. again, young, Ooh, young. Gosh. And then for this to happen, so she was saying, I reached out. Nobody responded. I hit you up. You text somebody. They didn't respond just to say, oh, they worked on your behalf. And I'm here and celebrating my husband's birthday, like those little things, bro. Like you talk about impact and relationship. Like, yeah. Wait, what? Like, Life giving, bro. Like that's catching the moment. Like, come on, bro. That's catching the moment, right? Stop playing. <laughs> I was like, dang, they got any extra tickets? Or, no, okay. <laughs> no invite. Uh, uh, <laughs> no, like, present, uh. <laughs> hey, Jill, you need some moving recovery. <laughs> Let me stop, Doctor Body. You know. <laughs> All right, bro. Um, let me think, man, because I, I could I could go on forever. So what is um as 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 you're continuing to build, and I really want to be clear because your your skill set and your accomplishments are so well merited up to this day. What are you most excited about as you're growing as a man? Of course, I'm not gonna prod you on why the broski ain't married yet. I should, but but you know. What's, what's, what's it's hot more? out here for a pit. So no, it's not. It's really not. It's a choice. <laughs> so, all right, bro. So what's 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 next for what's next for Mall Davis? So I mean, right now, man, we just you know, your wife and I we spoke about this early too. Like, there's evo- um, elevation and there's evolution, right? So there's a thing I don't want to you know, you know, like work on people's bodies forever. Sure, right? There's a part where you you grow. Yeah. Right? So it changes, like, and the technique has changed, right? Mm. Uh, so there's, you know, I have other people that's coming up behind me that are working with me and for me doing that. Excellent. Um, which is great because I think in our communities, especially, like, we need to advocate, like, take care of your body as far as, like, preventative medicine and maintenance before this, you have a need, right? This we is so this good. Stuff, you know, Lord, you know, I know you know about concussions and all this, this stuff that's happening, but... Just to have somebody that's going to advocate for you and say, hey, get work, get body maintenance, body, all that's to get that done before. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. there's Being intentional about right. your health and wholeness. Your, your, your health and wholeness. And I'm teaching that with the doctors and nurses. We're teaching from a patient's perspective, right? Our model is learning patient care with patients from patients. And so one of the things we tell them is, is like, hey, mm. if you are able to, to teach I mean, I say serve, serve your patients in the same way that you want to be served. They'll go, they'll be compliant. They'll want they'll want to come back and they'll tell this, this person, like, "Hey, pull up." And so that's really been like our forward thinking. Like, hey, we want to move healthcare forward. We want to move this like thing of like, 
hey, take care of your body, black man. Like if black lives matter, then yeah. like, the black life gotta matter, the black, black body life. gotta matter. Like Yeah, we gotta we, we have to break through to this place of being being honest, meaning like I said bodies obviously communicate, yeah, right? For sure. So if, if we could actually listen to it and actually if we're gonna look at the doctor as a at least a starting point for a solution, yeah. we need to aggressively pursue that so we can find out what the best so scripture talks about whose report should you believe, right? Report of But if you don't get a human's report, you won't be able to believe I mean, God's report, right? I, I don't know why we We fight against right, it. Right. We fight like we wrestle against it, but but there's there's that because it's like your body is mind, body, and spirit, right? So like listening to your your mental. Yeah. Like in the work that I've done with teaching doctors and nurses patient communication and doing movement recovery and also being an actor because you're meant to be observant as far as like taking on new characters. There's this thing of like getting in the mind. Like yeah. a lot of times, bro, what's going on for the physical body is a manifestation of what's happening here. Mm -hmm. You can see depression. You can see fear. You can see self-doubt. You can see lack of sleep. Mm. Right. You can see anger and yeah. bitterness. And then in turn, like as a provider, that stuff bleeds in and how I treat and speak to the patient. If I come in with a chief complaint of whatever and the doctor is looking and judging my exterior but not getting my social history, my, like all that stuff matters. So like I feel, it sounds crazy like, yo, I thought I'm still an actor. Like all that stuff is still a part of the journey. Like yeah. to the point where I'm still excited because I'm like, like you bro, like still discovering at like 38, like what are we about to do? Yeah. Really? You know, this is this is powerful because typically acting is, you know, on a surface level imitation, but your acting is turned to, mm. to, to impacting lives. Mm. Right. So your acting has led to the point of real impact for sure on, with real people. And that's powerful, bro. I could go on all day. So we got, you know, this conversation will be continued at a later date. But broski. Yes, broski boy boy. Appreciate you for checking in. Yo, you know, she, <laughs> you already she know. couldn't help it. She this, it. This is, She's this the is one. what we do. This is what we do. We go way back, man. We go, life. listen, we really do. So, um, man, bro, thanks for gracing us with, with, with the First life. First of all, thanks for journey. having me, man. Thank you for having me. I'm proud of y'all. This is incredible. This is, you know, 20 years in the making. <laughs> I was like, y'all should have been that's, on this. Like, that's real talk. So this is one of the few people who really know me, man. So um, <laughs> make sure y'all make... Listen, there was so much glean from, from Maul Davis in relation to his journey, his story. You know, that growth, that evolution, patience, how, how to actually internalize rejection, overcome it. This is, these are stories for every athlete, human, individual, business owner that you're going to be able to strip through, sympathize, and get you to your next moment. So make sure y'all tap into that. Every Wednesday... Y'all make sure y'all check in with Catch the Moment. We will be back with you soon. Catch this moment. Deuce. Now, do I do my monologue now? or so. All right. Um, <sighs> let me get into character. There it is. is this, where am I at, Bernal? We're not out of here. Right. We're not signing out until we out. She, uh, she switched her insurance to Geico. <laughs> <laughs> That's all, State Stan. What? Do y'all miss that? Like, I hate this dude. <laughs> Bro, what is? I hate this dude. You know, you know, we, you know we bring it in. You be, Listen, bro. DT, you can tear up too, bro. I can't do it. I, I, never, I, never, just, I, never, I never came into it. You tried to teach me a couple times. Just, you know, just look. I wish they could zoom in. I'm tearing tired, man. Tearing <laughs> tired? You know, he always get them. You know, I'm tearing tired. You know what I'm saying, man? I just, uh, you know, that's that's what it was. No, I'm saying, man. Because <laughs> what we doing in Jersey, see, man. See, see, what had happened was. You know what I'm saying, man? They're not ready. <laughs> I'll see y'all next time. Netflix somewhere. <laughs> <laughs>